section here. That's called the rib. This is the first week of three at Ohio Stadium that the wind has blown uh, out of the north. Mike Radina prepares to kick off for Florida State. He wears number seven. Two Buckeyes back deep for Langley and Spencer. Here's the boot by... It is Langley at the five. And across the 20-yard line go the Bucks, and they'll start from their own 22. Thompson on the tackle for Florida State. For the Bucks, tight end John Frank, left tackle William Roberts, left guard David Medich, center Jim Delone, right guard Joe Lukens, right tackle Joe Smith, and the split end is Gary Williams. Schleister, Spencer, Dunn, and Anderson in the backfield for the Bucks. Dunn at fullback. Rodnax doubtful today. Probably will not see action. Eye formation to start. This is Spencer finding room. He's at the 33. Tim Spencer weaved his way for first down yardage. Eric Riley made the tackle from his defensive safety spot for Florida State. Zach, seemed like so far today that I know how they want to get off to a quick start. Um, last week, they didn't get off to a quick start scoring. The ball at the 34. The Bucks have first and 10. Second play from scrimmage. Schleister swings it out to the right. This is Spencer thrown down at the line of scrimmage. Nice tackle by Larry Harris. Harris, a 6'1", 200-pound senior from Gainesville, Florida. No gain on the play. Second and 10 for the Buckeyes. Scott McLean, Gary Futch, Jim Gilbert, Alfonso Carriker, Jarvis Kersey. Along the defensive front for Florida State, linebackers are Tommy Young and Ken Rowe. Two receivers to the left. Spencer, the workhorse, across the 35. Linebacker Ken Rowe stops the play. Rowe and Young on the tackle. Harvey Clayton, Larry Harris, Eric Riley, and James Harris complete the Florida State uh, defense in the secondary. Seminoles with wins over Louisville and Memphis State. A loss to Nebraska two weeks ago. Seminoles have been idle since. Schleister looking on third down. He is hit back at the 25. Alfonso Carriker, a big 6'6", 235-pound sophomore. Here you can see it again. Art's going back to pass. Um, he's got good protection. But like you said, Crater, a Columbus product just comes in and creams him on that play. So it's Alders to kick inside his 15 for the Buckeyes. Cedric Jones was back for the Seminoles. Fourth and 18, Alders gets the snap. A short kick with the wind up the right side, and it bounds out of bounds in the vicinity of the Florida State 35. So with 12 minutes and 36 seconds left in the first quarter, it's Ohio State nothing, Florida State nothing. Williams, offensive tackle Barry Voltafetti, offensive guard Tom Brannon. Stock still back to pass in the first play. Swings it out to the right to Whiting, and Whiting is nailed at the 33-yard line by Mike DeAndrea. Jack, the Buckeyes had to be very, very cautious of Whiting because he led the team in receptions last year with 25 catches coming out of the backfield. That backfield has Stock still at quarterback. We'll see either Allen or Williams at the tailback spot today. Whiting at full. Dennis McKinnon, the wide receiver. Tom McCormick over the ball at center. Ricky Render gets a started offensive guard today for Florida State. Seminoles come out throwing, intended again for Whiting, incomplete. So third down coming up for the Seminoles. There's no doubt the Florida State um, Seminoles was watching last week's films against Stanford because they throw into the backs a lot, just like Stanford did last week. Good observation, Corny. Third and 12 for the Seminoles at their own 33. And we have flags all over the place. 
It appeared as though the Seminoles jumped the gun. You know, Jack, Florida State's offensive line hasn't proven themselves yet this year at all. They only have one starter returning back on that offensive line. Five yards will be assessed against Florida State. It's uh, Bobby Bowden's youngest team in the last uh, five years. Ohio State uh, starting today, Jerome Foster, Nick Miller, and Chris Reen up front. Ben Lee, Mike DeAndrea, Glenn Cobb, and Marcus Merrick, your linebackers. Third and 17 for the Seminoles. The line of scrimmage is their 28. Quick drop. And Stockstill is caught behind the line by Nick Miller. No sooner did we say that Nick Miller was starting at the middle guard that he corner Stockstill behind the line. And Florida State, without a first down, is forced to punt. Fourth and 25 for Florida State. Ron Stark will do the booting. He's back at his own six-yard line. He'll be kicking against a win. Garcia Lane back for Ohio State. Left-footed kick by Stark is driven up across midfield. Taken by the Buck Cisco. And he darts his way back inside the Florida State 45 to the 44. First goal foul. Ohio State might try to take advantage of this penalty. They might come out passing on this first play. At the 29, split backs. You're right, as Schleister throws over the middle, it is complete. And the tight end, it looked like Frank, is into the 15-yard line. Corny, you hit it right on the head. Schleister to the air. You can see it again. Art's going back, taking his time, firing over the middle to Frank. Good catch by Frank before... Florida State defenders can come up. Good blocking by the wide receivers. You can see the blocking up front by the offensive line. Joe Lucas him doing a heck of a job up front. Franks catches the ball and does some good running after he catches the ball to get some extra yardage for the Buckeyes. Franks ninth catch of the year. This is Spencer to the near side. And he's hit out of bounds at the 10-yard line. But James Harris, number 33, there's Spencer. Timmy, a 210-pounder from St. Clairsville, Ohio. It's at the nine. So the Buckeyes pick up six on the first down play, and it's important, Corny, to, to get five or six yards on that first down. It always is. Put more pressure on the defense. They don't know what you're going to come with. Second and four at the nine. This is Spencer. Touchdown, Ohio State. Spencer rambles in for the score. Ohio State six, Florida State nothing. Here are just coming out, handing off to Spencer. Spencer goes off the right side of the Ohio State line, breaks a few tackles as it goes. And it is good. So with 10.46 left in the first quarter, it's Ohio State 7, Florida State nothing. Straight this season, not a cloud overhead. Temperature in the upper 50s. Atha sends it down the middle a yard deep. Cedric Jones is hit hard at the 17-yard line. Tom Anthony belted him, and Florida State will start from their 17. Rick Stockstill at uh, quarterback. He's completed uh, 39 of 66 coming into this game today. A 59% clip. He's thrown two TDs, a senior. Lists his home as uh, Fernandina Beach, Florida, but has roots in uh, Ohio. Stockstill to throw. It is complete over the middle to Williams. And Williams goes to the turf. Links to Merrick and Cobb at the 27-yard line. You can see Stockdale going back again, setting up. Ohio State is not putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Throws over the middle, good pass. In this wide receiver for Cobb, and Hill comes up to make the tackle for the Buckeyes. Ohio State cannot afford to give um, Stockdale this, this much time passing. Um, they, they're going to go to their backs out of the backfield quite a bit today. 
And by the nose of the football, the official signals that Florida State is short. Ricky Williams, who is on the receiving end of that uh, stock still aerial, is a junior from Griffin, Georgia. There you see Coach uh, Bobby Bowden across the way. First meeting between Ohio State and Florida State as whistled. The preliminary signal is illegal procedure against the Buckeyes. Buckeye coach Earl Bruce did meet Florida State uh, back in 1975. That, of course, was when Earl was the head mentor at uh, Iowa State. This is the sixth year for Bobby Bowden at Florida State. A record of 46 and uh, 15 with the Seminoles. 119 and 47 overall. Earl Bruce's career mark is 69 and 38. Quite a discussion at the sideline. Of course, the Buckeyes claiming uh, Florida State was at fault. And the official saying uh, nope. The penalty uh, is assessed against the Buckeyes. He's the Cigar Bowl, believe it or not. Most recently, of course, the last two years, the Orange Bowl against Oklahoma. Man in motion left. Stock still, deep drop at the 20. Flips it over the middle. It is complete to Whiting, and out of the backfield, Whiting crosses the 40 to the 42, where he's tackled by Marcus Mary. Surprisingly, Jack, Stockstill has went back to pass five or six times so far today. He has not thrown to his wide receivers. All of his passes have went to the running back so far. Nine minutes and 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Ohio State seven, Florida State nothing. Buckeye scoring first on a gallop from inside the 10 by Tim Spencer. Then split left and right, eye formation, fake pitch, and Stock still looks and throws long down the right side. It is just beyond the intended receiver, Dennis McKinnon. Sean Gale was covering, but McKinnon had him beat. McKinnon's caught to 12 this year for 130 yards, the leading receiver for the Seminoles. And that brings up a third and one. Interesting call, Corny, on second and short. It sure was. Uh, one of them Bart Starr kind of calls. But uh, that was a good play action pass that um, Florida State called that time, just was a little bit overthrown. Third and one at the Florida State 42. The first man through gets the football. Near first down yardage. Whiting was close to it. In fact, the official signals first down Florida State at the Seminole 43. Mike Neandria had made the tackle. Neandria Sr. from Akron, Ohio. 96 for the Bucks at one outside linebacker spot. His usual substitute, Orlando Lowry, was listed as doubtful today, nursing an injury. Kinnon in motion left. Stocks will the throw on first and ten. Screen to the left to Williams. 40. Up to the 45, and he's belted head on by Marcus Merrick. Rick Stockstill's pass complete to Ricky Williams. You can see Stockstill going back to pass here. Good screen the way they set it up. You can see Williams here is running the ball, but the Buckeyes get back on the cover. Here's a ground level shot. You can see what the defensive line is doing with the reaction that they're making. You see Hills coming up, gets blocked and taken out of the play before Gale and Cobb and the fellows for the Ohio State Buckeyes come up and make the tackle. Second down and eight. Buckeyes have five defensive backs in there at this point. Pass going out to the right. It is caught. And inside Buckeye territory, Whiting is down near the 40-yard line. Roland Tatum on the tackle as we take a second look at it. Here's Stocksdale hitting Whiting, coming out of the backfield again. He's making a good move before Tatum and Hill comes up to make the tackle. You can see Nick Miller trying to get away from his, his man. Stocksdale hitting a great pass there. Buckeyes have to come up to make the tackle. Buckeyes must play the linebackers when they have to come up on these running backs. You can't do that all day. They're giving them nine yards of pass. First and 10, Florida State. And off left tackle, Whiting again with a lot of real estate down to near the 35. Doug Hill, the rover, on the tackle. Help from Cobb. 
second down four for florida state just outside the buckeye thirty five this whiting coming into the game today it caught just three passes but it's obvious that florida state's game plan today is to use whiting through the air quite a bit split backs stock still calls the signals down and out to the right it is to mckinnon just off the fingertips at the 20. It's ruled incomplete. Doug Hill was there. Here's Stockstill going back. And McKinnon did a great pattern. The ball is just a little bit overthrown here. You can see him trying to make a diving catch and also trying to keep both his feet in bounds. He had the ball, but it comes out as soon as he hits the ground. Incomplete pass. Kelvin Bell was back there with Hill near the sidelines. It is third and four for Florida State at the 35. Good rush. Screen to the left. Off the hands of Whiting. Incomplete. As DeAndrea was there ready to deck Whiting if he caught the football. And it's fourth and four coming up for the Seminoles. You can see a super play by DeAndrea on that play. Stockdale trying to hit Whiting coming out of the backfield real quick, but DeAndrea's right there on the play. Excellent defensive play. With the win now, Florida State is setting up as if they're going to try a long field goal. Rendina has booted two and three attempts this year, his longest 46. The holder is Kelly Lowry. Rendina's kick. It is good. It hit the crossbar and bounded over. So with 6.59 left in the first quarter, it's Ohio State 7, Florida State 3. Ball's in the pass, and it's a first down, Ohio State. Second man through, gets the ball up to the 35-yard line, where a host of Seminoles stack him up. Ohio State seemed to be setting up that um, reverse play again that we saw last week that Earl Bruce uh, put out for the Buckeyes. I think they've been going with that reverse. Um, Florida State didn't even look like they were um, prepared for that play at all. Gale, the ball carrier on the last play for Ohio State, has rushed for 99 yards and 32 carries so far this season. Second down, eight Ohio State at the 35. Here's a sweep to the left on the reverse. Anderson is caught behind the line inside the 35. James Harris was not fooled a bit. He smelled it out. You can see his isolation on Anderson. He's going around. He gets the ball from Sleester, but a good defensive play by the Seminoles. Anderson trying to get around to the outside. Seminoles made a good defensive play. No way he could have made any yardage on that. Dunn back in at uh, fullback. Split backs now for Ohio State on third and eight. Sleester's pass is batted down behind the line as James Gilbert, co-captain for the Florida State defense, smothered Sleister's pass behind the line of scrimmage as we take a second look at it. You can see the offensive line is doing a good job but Gilbert's breakthrough puts his hands up and just smacks the ball away with his left hand. Gary Alder is back in his 20. He'll be punting. Cedric Jones back deep for Florida State. Kick is blocked. The Seminoles finally pick it up at the five and score a touchdown. Kick was blocked by Hester. And the Seminoles were mobbing the man who picked up the football and scored. Let's take a second look at it here, Corny. You can see Alder's going up. The kick took a little bit of time, but um, Hester um, came in and blocked the punt. Now they all in the pile, jumps up, and the ball bounces right in his hands. He takes it in for a touchdown. You know, Hester, uh, Corny, had originally blocked the football, and after the uh, Florida State, uh, the extra point try is good. We'll talk about that block kick in uh, just a moment. With 4.56 left in the first quarter, Florida State now leads Ohio State 10 to 7. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a moment.
29 seconds left, first quarter. Two receivers to the left. Florida State with five men up front. First man through, Spencer down near the 10. Good call by the Buckeyes that time. They went with a, like a play-action draw play that time to give the Buckeyes a good four to five yards. David Ponder had made the tackle for the Seminoles. And the clock runs out. We've played one quarter from Ohio Stadium. That's the end of the first period. It's Florida State 10, Ohio State 7. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a moment. As we start the second quarter, the Buckeyes are knocking on the Seminoles' door. Second down, seven, Ohio State at the Florida State 11. Buckeyes had eight first downs in quarter number one. Florida State to had three. Buckeyes through the air, 85 yards in that uh, first period. I like the way the Buckeyes are probing the middle with the tight ends. Really. I love it. I love it. Um, Ohio, Ohio State's doing a great job. Art is doing a good job um, spreading his passes around. He's throwing to the tight ends, and he's finding Williams. Two white outs to the left. High formation. This is Gale. Gale found an opening inside the 10, down near the 7. Tommy Young, 54, on the tackle. Young, a junior from Lake City, Florida. We see Dwelly coming in with a play from head coach Earl Bruce. Buckeyes have third and two. The two tight end offense being employed. Play just underway. Second quarter. Third and two, Ohio State. Schleister keeping. Pitching to Gale. Gale is over. Touchdown. Jimmy Gale high stepped it into the end zone. And the Buckeyes have taken the lead back. Lukens and Smith providing room for Gale to get outside. That was a great option play by Ohio State. Our Schleister gets the ball, he goes down the line, pitches real quick. There's no one outside at all. Jimmy Gale just struts, high steps, do anything he wanted. He could have crawled in from that point. Touchdown for Ohio State. Touchdown number two this year for Jimmy Gale. Buckeyes lead at 13-10. Bob Atha to try the point. We expected a high-scoring affair today, and we're going to get it. Good snap, placement, kick is no good, though. As Atha missed it to the right. So with 14-20 left in the second quarter, it's Ohio State 13, Florida State 10. Buckeyes lead it by three. Corny, that's the first uh, kick that uh, Atha has actually missed this year. The Buckeyes failed once uh, earlier on a... Uh, a fumbled snap, but that's his uh, first actual uh, miss on a conversion try this year. Let's take a second see, look um, at Aether it. going back to kick, and you can watch Aether's reaction as he saw the ball just go to the right. He's really upset after that. The Buckeyes drove down there in 14 plays um, for 80 yards in time, possession of the ball, five minutes and 36 seconds. Aether preparing to kick off. Williams and uh, Whiting back deep along with Jones. Williams, Whiting, and Jones. In the middle, uh, Cedric Jones from Valdosta, Georgia, a freshman. Gets the outside 28. Oh, I'm sorry. 14-20, left second quarter. Ohio State now leading by a field goal, 13 to 10. Looked like Atha may have pushed that extra point try, just a shade to the right. Schleister seems to be getting uh, better and better with each game, Corny. You ain't kidding. He's starting off to a great um, season so far this year. He's, um, before this ball game, he's already passed for 589 yards, and I think our Schleister's just going to go on to probably win that Heisman Trophy this year. The kick is into the end zone, about uh, eh. eight yards deep, and Florida State will start from the 20-yard line. 
Jones took the kick and downed it. So it's first and 10 for the Seminoles who now find themselves behind 13 to 10. It's been a seesaw opening half. So Ohio State defense got to stiffen up this, this um, quarter. No doubt about it. They got to cover those running backs coming out the backfield. Stock still to throw on first down. It is over the middle. Caught by Childers, the tight end. Childers finds yardage across the 25. DeAndrea on the tackle. Marcus Merrick helped out. You can see Stockdale going back. Childers is, is delaying and going across number 84, coming to the screen. He catches the ball before DeAndre and the guys come up to make the tackle. You can see Marcus Merrick going back into his um, passing coverage. He now sees the tight end coming across. He comes up, makes the tackle. Childers also caught 20 passes last year. Second and three, Florida State. Deep handoff to Williams. Williams across the 30 to near the 32. Merrick had made that uh, previous tackle, Corny. Marcus has uh, moved into seventh place on OSU's all-time tackling list with 282 total stops. You no, know, Florida State has, has not set up any kind of running game at all. Everything has come off play, pass or play action pass. Split backs. That was a first down pickup for the Seminoles. Pass to the near sideline, complete to McKinnon, and he's out of bounds at the 43. Kelvin Bell on the tackle. Stock still threw that about 25 yards, Corny, but cross field. Yes, he got a nice strong arm, too. Um, the senior Stockdale goes back to pass. He's looking. He sees his wide receiver, Dennis Keenan, fires the ball. Good catch by Dennis. He comes up before Kevin Bell knocks him out of bounds. Another first down for the Seminoles. Ball just across their own 43. 13-16 left second quarter. High formation. Here's a good rush by Hill. Stockstill gets it away from McKinnon, and he catches it just in bounds at the 46. And Earl Bruce is unhappy about it. Sean Gale was there. The official ruling that McKinnon had his tiptoes just inside the white line. See Stockdale going back. Doug Hill putting good pressure on him, but a little late. Dennis McKinnon catches the ball, but you only have to have one foot in bound. That's probably why Earl Bruce is arguing over there on that sideline. I think maybe the question was, Corny, was the other foot on the ground, on the line, at the time the ball was caught? We couldn't tell, but it was close. Timeout for a measurement. Chains are extended. And it is a Florida State first down, so the Seminoles have rattled off three quick first downs. And at the Ohio State 47, it's first and 10. You know, Stockdale, you can see Stockdale going back again to pass, sets up, fires the ball just in time. Dennis McKinnon catches the ball. Looks good. His right foot was inbound. The official had the best view in the house, and he ruled completed pass. Florida State to 2-1 and one on the year with wins over Louisville, 17-0, and Memphis State 10-5. to five. Seminoles lost to the Cornhuskers of Nebraska, 34-14. McCormick over the ball at center. Whiting takes the handoff around the left side. Whiting inside the 30. He's loose at the 20. He's tripped up from behind inside the 10-yard line. Garcia Lane finally caught up with him as we take another look at it. You can see Mike Whiting getting the ball, cutting to the outside. He got good blocking up front, missed tackle by Bell and, and Gales that time, and he hits the sideline. Garcia Lane, last man down, and Cobb at his linebacker spot comes in. Whiting doing a good job, making good moves, good blocking up front by Florida State. You can see Gale missing the tackle. Garcia Lane, the last man, he misses the tackle. Glenn Cobb, luckily he was there to stop Whiting before he scored on that play. A 34-yard dash by Whiting. His longest had been 15 this year. There's a pass lofted for the far corner for McKinnon. Incomplete. Garcia Lane provided good coverage. That was a timing pattern. You know that... You don't normally see that pass play in college a lot. That's a pro pass pattern. Dennis
and goes way up. But Garcia looks just in time. I'm telling you, he looked just in time to knock that ball out of Dennis McKinnon's hand. Second down for Florida State. And goal at the nine. Stock still's going to run. He is caught from behind. Nick Miller with a touchdown saving tackle at the five yard line. Good tackle by Miller. So sure handed Nick Miller keeps the Seminoles out of the end zone on that play, and it's third and goal at the five. Surprised to see the Seminoles going with a pass so much when they right down there on the 10 yard line. Miller and Merrick lead the Buckeyes in tackles. Or I should say uh, solos. Miller with 15 coming into the game. Merrick 19. Stock still to throw. Good rush. It is incomplete at the goal line. Cisco on the coverage. Sam Childers, the intended receiver. And now the Seminoles faced with a decision here. Fourth and goal at the five. Doug Hill, the rover, really put some pressure on Stockstill, made him hurry up that pass, and that's the main reason why that pass was incomplete. Rendina to try a field goal from the 17. He's already booted one beyond the 50. It's a fake. Rolling to the right is the holder, and he's over. Lowry scores. Kelly Lowry. Took it in for the touchdown. A sophomore from Lake City as Rendina went through with the motion to kick. Of course, Lowry kept the football. Put you it see on his Kevin hip. Lowry right now is going back. He faced the punt, rolling out, and he's running for and he's running for his life right now. He sees that goal line, and nothing stops him. Kelly Lowry scores a touchdown. Excellent play call by the Florida State um, Seminoles that time. Caught the Buckeyes by surprise. The Buckeyes thought they was going up for the tie. Faked it. Great call by the coaches over there uh, for Florida State. So Lowry and the Seminoles engineer the trickery. Lowry, a 220-pounder, 6'1 sophomore from uh, Lake City. And now Florida State's on top, 16-13, to with 12-10 left in the second quarter. In a tricky play like that, Jack, that's the first time that a touchdown was scored on OSU on the ground this year. Well, it's another specialty team uh, doing damage. That was the field goal team for the Seminoles, and they turned uh, what appeared to be an apparent uh, try for three into a six-pointer. I know Florida State coaches have to praise their specialty teams because they have come up with 16 points. Excuse me, except the field goal. They, they scored every time they had the ball, it seems like. It's incredible. The Seminoles performed uh, that play to perfection. And of course, the Buckeyes were sucked in. Extra point try by Rendina is good. And with 12-10 left in the second quarter, Florida State regains the lead. The Seminoles 17, the Buckeyes 13. <laughs> Buckeye fans trying to warm things up. Temperature near 60. Spencer and Langley. Back to receive Rendina's kick as the ball falls off the tee at the 40. Twelve minutes, ten seconds left in the second period. Here's the kick sailing down a couple yards deep into the end zone. It's Spencer coming back out with it. He's got an alley up the middle, and he goes all the way up across the 25 to the 27. Larry Harris with the tackle, and he may have been the last man between Spencer and Paydirt. You see Spencer get, catching the ball. He's got a good wedge up front, good block, and he bumps up into Langley right there, which slows Spencer down. Still breaking tackle, still running. Tim Spencer, all-purpose running back for Ohio State. Spencer coming into the game and returned uh, two kickoffs for 30 yards. That one traveled about 30. Ashleister fires down the middle. It is complete. Anderson up near the 45-yard line. Larry Harris on the tackle. You see Sleeser play action pass again. Looking around, trying to find his receivers. Anderson comes into the picture. Good catch by Anderson. 
turns it upfield for the Seminoles who come in to make the tackle there. See Marcus Merrick on the sideline getting a breather there for the defense. Sometimes to be able to run the ball on first down, you've got to throw it on first down occasionally. There's no doubt that the um, Florida State Seminoles are expecting to run every first down. First and 10 at the 44. High formation. Spencer over right guard to near midfield. Ken Rowe on the tackle. Rowe, a sophomore from Cropwell, Alabama. Ball placed down at the 48. Buckeyes must reach the Florida State 46. Second down for Ohio State, a short six to go. Schleister in the pocket. Firing, he's got a man open, it's Williams. He hauls it in at the 25. He might go. Touchdown, Williams. Schleister to Williams. Here's our going back, looking around, looking around, finds Gary Williams all alone. Gary Williams breaks tackle after tackle, gets by three men. Good block by Frank's the last play. Gary Williams takes it in. And I'm telling you, you can see the good blocking up front. Gary Williams, I'm telling you, is the All-American, no doubt about it this year. He's doing everything. He's making this crowd here at Ohio State just go crazy. He goes in the third place now for the career reception passing Bo Ryan with 78. Gary Williams, the Super Bowl player. Buckeyes lead by two. The one-point conversion try would give them a three-point advantage. Ohio State lines up as if they're going to go for a two-point conversion. Schleister uh, trying to incite the fans, and he's successful at doing it as the Buckeye crowd really riled up. Ohio State with a two-point lead, 19-17. And uh, the Buckeyes want to talk it over. It appeared as though they were going to snap it on the near hash mark and go for a two-point try, but maybe they have second thoughts on Williams. were unsuccessful. Of course, he uh, juked the first man after catching the throw. Buckeyes are employing two tight ends. Dwelly and Frank are both in. Williams split to the left. They're going for two. Look out for that option again. Williams in motion. Fake to Dunn, Schleister, plenty of time, now being chased. Throwing, it is caught in the corner of the end zone. Tim Spencer was on the receiving end of Schleister's throw. The two-point conversion is good, so with 10.56 left in the second quarter, it's Ohio State 21, Florida State 17. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a moment. Boy, the head coach's uh, minds are really bending today, Corny. You ain't kidding. Uh, Florida State's showing some uh, great passing displays also today. Um, our Sleece is having a great day so far. Looks like there's no defense so far. Very innovative uh, college football this afternoon. Kick taken by Jones two yards deep. He swings to the right side. Still on his feet across the 25 to the 26. Anthony Griggs had made the tackle for Ohio State. Garcia Lane scurried over to the sideline to help out. And now the Seminoles start from the 26. Under 11 minutes left in quarter number two. And we've already seen 38 points put on the scoreboard. Nice piece of ad living by the Buckeyes, Schleister and Spencer on that uh, two-point conversion try. High formation, receivers left and right. Hand off over a right guard. Nick Miller on the tackle at the 30. Billy Allen, who hails uh, from Cleveland, Ohio, took the handoff. Ball placed down at the 29. Jerome Foster helped Nick Miller out on the play. Surprised that we haven't seen um, Billy Allen carry the ball that much, but he's their leading gown grader, gown um, gainer with uh, 212 yards so far this season. Allen's longest from scrimmage has been 50. He's averaging over five and a half a carry. Stockstill out of the left flat to Whiting across the 30 up near the 35. Doug Hill 
on the tackle for Ohio State. Third and short coming up for the Seminoles. Clock running inside 10 minutes, second quarter. You know, um, Stocksdale is a senior, and the Buckeyes got to put some pressure on this guy. You know, uh, he's not going to get back there and throw um, no bad passes or anything. He's throwing the ball right to the people that he's supposed to. Third and a yard and a half. Pitch back to Billy Allen, and he's near a first down. Sean Gale came up to make contact at the 37. It is a first down for Florida State. So the Seminoles rack up another first down. First and 10 at their own 37. Allen played uh, high school athletics at Glenville High School in uh, Cleveland. He's in now for Williams at tailback. Stock still steps up to throw. It is complete over the middle of Whiting. Whiting, or I should say Allen, he breaks one tackle. And uh, dances across the 45 to near the 47-yard line. Nice uh, bit of running by Billy Allen. And he's near another first down. Stocks still hit Allen going across the middle. There's a mi missed tackle by Cobb. Can't tackle these guys high out there. DeAndre and the fellas and Kevin Bell, Garcia Lane, comes up to make the tackle on Billy Allen. Allen uh, displayed some shifty moves after catching that football. Measurement taking place. And it's short. The official signal's about uh, six inches shy. Second down coming up for the Seminoles. Come on, defense! High formation. Receiver to the near side. Stock still to throw on short yardage. Down the left side. It is caught inside the 15. Gale was covering, but a beautiful catch by Dennis McKinnon. This Dennis McKinnon is very impressive. Stock still, like I said, the senior is confident, throws the pass. The ball is under thrown. Gale's trying to come back in front, but Dennis McKinnon does a great job coming back for the ball to catch it on that play. So a beautiful 30-yard plus strike to the 14-yard line. Stock still to McKinnon. McKinnon split to the near side again. Stock still throwing over the middle. It is caught. Touchdown. A flag is down at the seven-yard line. Tony Johnson, the wide receiver, angled over the middle and took it in stride. He clutched it a second time and made sure and stride it into the end zone. The penalty is against the Buckeyes, declined by Florida State, and the touchdown holds. You can see Stockstill just a real quick slam pattern right to Johnson, and he catches the ground level. Good blocking up front by Florida State. Perfect pass by Stockstill. Touchdown to Johnson. I thought Stockstill, Courtney, made a good head fake to the right side of the field and then went back to the left. He found his man open. Yes, he did. If there was a seam in the Buckeyes' defense, and Stockstill found it. Rendina to try the point. The kick is no good, so Rendina and Atha both have missed kicks. And with 8.25 left until halftime, it's Florida State 23, Ohio State 21. We're staying a drive, so we pick up further action in the second quarter. Six seconds to go. The ball at the 50. Whiting takes the swing pass. Open field ahead of him. He's inside the 35 to the 33, and time expires. That's the end of the first half, and with the score, Florida State 23, Ohio State 21. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a moment. I don't know. Normally, they're going to have to put a more of a passing rush, seem like, on these quarterbacks because they both have a considerable amount of time to throw, and they both have an excellent day today. Florida State has gotten a big break so far, returning a blocked punt for a touchdown and resorting to some gimmickry in the second quarter, faking a field goal and scoring six. Florida State got their backs against the wall. They want to prove to the nation that they can play with these teams like Ohio State and the Notre Dames across the country, and they show enough proving that today. They sure are. Here at halftime, it's Florida State 23 and Ohio State 21. 
It's the second half of Buckeye football from Ohio Stadium in Columbus. Jack Kramer with Cornelius Green as we await the start of quarter number three. It's been a real thriller so far. Florida State 23, Ohio State 21 as the Buckeyes will kick off to begin play in the second half. Coach Bobby Bowden's Florida State Seminoles cling to a precarious 23-21 lead. Ohio State has scored first on a nine-yard run by Tim Spencer today. Florida State then cut the lead to 7-3 to and uh, went ahead on a blocked punt return for a touchdown. Added the extra point and led 10-7. The Buckeyes regained the lead. Then Florida State took it back and it seesawed through the second quarter and Florida State holds a two-point lead, 23-21 as we start the second half. Jones, Williams, and Whiting to receive Athis kick. It's at the two. Jones coming back for Florida State. He is slowed behind uh, near the 10 and brought down at the 12 by Anthony Griggs. As the Buckeye defenders hustled down and uh, slowed uh, the return man up and made the tackle at the 12, so the Seminoles start with the poor field position. Ohio State won the battle of the first downs, 14 to 12 in the first half. Buckeyes pass for 198 yards, Florida State for 150. Whiting over right guard gets a couple to near the 14. Florida State rushed for 81 in the first half, Ohio State 45. Nick Miller and Marcus Merrick and Ben Lee plugged up the first play of the second half. And at the 14, it's second down. And eight for Florida State. Stock still was 14 for 23 in the opening two stances. Here's a screen to Whiting. Whiting across the 20, broke a couple tackles to the 25. Sean Gale made the stop. But it's a first down for Florida State on the screen from Stockstill to Whiting. You see Stockstill going back to pass. Got a lot of time. Ohio State putting a good rush. But William Whiting, excuse me, catches the ball. Good job breaking a lot of tackles before Gale can come up with um, saving tackles, stopping um, Whiting from getting big yardage. Whiting's sixth reception today. First and 10. McKinnon motion left. And off to Ricky Williams. And he is brought down by Marcus Merrick. A nice tackle around the ankles at the 27-yard line. So it is second down and eight for Florida State. Line of scrimmage, the Seminole 27. 13-30 left in the third quarter. Florida State 23, Ohio State 21. McKinnon motion this play to the right. Pitch back to Williams. Cuts in across the 30 to the 32. Glenn Cobb on the tackle. And he had help from Marcus Merrick. Sean Gale came up to help. It's third down at the 32. Third and about five. Still. Over the middle, it is complete to Childers, the tight end. Roaming across the 50 to the Ohio State 46, a flag is thrown. Kelvin Bell made the tackle. Sam Childers hauled in the pass. Face mask against Ohio State. Here's Stock still going back to pass. Ohio State putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but they had a tight end delay right over the middle. No one's there at all. Kevin Bell, the last Buckeye, you can see, gets a face mask call, makes a tackle on Childers as he crosses over midfield. the Bucks. A play like that really hurts the defense. It was only third and five. 
and they come up with more than 30 yards on that play. Florida State's in business now at the Ohio State 32. Stockstill stuffs the ball into the stomach of Whiting. And Whiting crosses the 30 to about the 29. Nick Miller on the tackle. Marcus Merrick, 36, comes off the bottom. We see Griggs, Cisco, and Tatum coming in for Ohio State. Second down and six. Buckeyes with an extra defender in the secondary. Second and six for the Seminoles. Stockstill fires to the right for McKinnon, incomplete at the 15-yard line. Kelvin Bell and Sean Gale covering. That was perhaps Stockstill's most poorly thrown pass of the day. Much too far for the intended receiver. The man is down hurt back at the 38-yard line. Looked like DeAndrea's on the ground there. Right, 96 for the Buckeyes, Mike DeAndrea. Looked like his, his, his ankle, see Billy Hill and Mike Barnard down there. Is that 80? It looks like 86. Um, ben Lee. <laughs> Second and 28 now for Florida State following the penalty against them. Stock still throwing down the middle to McKinnon at the 33-yard line. Kelvin Bell got there, but he was too late. McKinnon caught it at the Buckeye 32. Stockstill's going back to pass. Got a lot of time. Buckeye's putting some pressure on him. Sets back in the pocket all day. Throws a pass. Cross the middle. Got his wide receiver, number six, Dennis McKinnon, for about a 15-yard game. Third down and 10 for Florida State. Cisco into the ball game for the Buckeyes. He replaced to Cobb. Third and 10. Stock still setting up, throwing. It is complete inside the 15-yard line to Phil Williams. The pass went just through the hands of the Buckeye defender as we take a second look at it. Here's Stock still going back to pass, looking to his left, fires. The ball looked like it was going to be intercepted by the Buckeye defender, Jeff Cisco, but it's right over his head to Phil Williams. Up front, you can see the Florida State doing a good job blocking. Here's the pass again. Bill Williams doing a good job hauling that pass in. Well, he stopped on the 11-yard line. Jerome Foster was close to getting to Stockstill before he threw, but he got it away. And it's first and 10, Florida State at the 11. Stockstill throwing again. It is too far in the corner of the end zone for Williams. Sean Gale covered. So it's second and 10 for Florida State. The Seminoles can pick up a first down at the one. The ball is marked at the 11. We see uh, Tatum and Cisco coming in. McKinnon, the speedy wide receiver in now. He flanks to the left for Florida State. Split backs. in motion. Stock still handing off to Whiting. Whiting broke one tackle and he squirmed forward for several yards to the six-yard line. Merrick hit him down. It's spotted at the seven. So it's third down. Florida State must reach the one. Third and six. Florida State by two. 23-21. Buckeyes would like to hold the Seminoles. Buckeyes with six defensive backs in on third and six. Gale moving with the man in motion. There's a good rush put on. Stockstill eludes. Races to the right. Now throws. It is caught at the goal line. But Childers, touchdown. Sam Childers broke the plane of the goal line for the score. Doug Hill hit him. But Childers managed to hold on. A great reception for him. You can see Tatum almost got Stockstill that time. Stockstill's rolling, running for his life, can't find anyone. All of a sudden, Childers comes into his pitcher, catches the ball, like he said, breaks that plane for a touchdown for Doug Hill. He can make the tackle. Florida State now owns an eight-point lead. This is a critical extra point. The Buckeyes would need two scores to come back from nine down. 
And the kick is up, and it is good. So with 10 minutes and five seconds left in the third quarter, it's Florida State 30, Ohio State 21. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a moment in the third quarter. It's first and 10, Ohio State at their own 38. Schleister throwing. Got to Long. Seven, eight. It is caught by Anderson inside the 10. Anderson at the three. James Harris covered. But Cedric Anderson beating down the far sideline. You can see our Schleister going back, setting up. Art is very blessed. He's got so many wide receivers, talented wide receivers. Cedric Anderson just running up the field on a fly pattern. Got past his man, number 33, James Harris. Tackles him on a two-yard line. Great play by Cedric Anderson. Well, you can't say enough for the Buckeye offensive line as Roberts, Medic, Stallone, Lukens, and Smith provided Schleister ample time to get that ball downfield to Anderson. Schleister kept and is just short of the goal line. That was a beautiful thrown pass by Art Schleister. I'm telling you, that ball was right on the number. It's at the one, second down goal. Gale in for Spencer. As the Florida State defense organizes and tries to hold. Wally and Frank both in for Ohio State. Williams flank left. Gale tries to dive up over right tackle. He can't do it. It's marked short of the goal line. So Jimmy Gale lunged forward. Forward progress stopped two feet short. It's third down for Ohio State. Goal to go. That play was stacked up by nose guard Jim Gilbert and defensive tackle Alfonso Carriker. Carriker at 6'6". Five minutes left, third quarter. Williams in motion. This is Spencer near the goal line. It's close. Again, it's Carriker and Corsi and Gilbert boarding the Buckeye running play. Ohio State picked up another foot. It's fourth down and goal to go. Most critical play in this ball game coming up. 4:36 left in the third quarter, and the Buckeyes are going to talk it over as Schleister comes to the near sideline to chat with the Buckeye Brain Trust. State's going back. Um, our Sleece is going over to talk to Coach Earl Bruce. But you know you got a big fullback in Craig down the ways, 228 pounds. You know, I, for half a yard, I still never give the ball to, a, to the big fullback. Buckeyes have not run the ball exceedingly well today. They only picked up a 45 in that first half on the ground. Coach Bobby Bowden pondering the situation as he methodically paces the sideline. Another sellout crowd at Ohio Stadium as Coach Earl Bruce and the Buckeye staff have made up their minds. The ball actually is inside a foot short of the goal line. Leister throwing incomplete. He faked to Spencer and threw for Dwelly off his fingertips. The Seminoles were fooled as the dive playoff left tackle was faked, and Dwelly just couldn't quite hang on as we take a second look at it. You can see the dive to Spencer. Art has all day. Throws the ball right off the fingertips of Dwelly. The ball was a little high, but very catchable pass. Fakes again. He's rolling, looking by himself. Brad Dwelly. Good hold on to the ball. So with 4.32 left in the third quarter, Florida State 30, Ohio State 21. He's wide open. An outstanding fake by Arch Schleister as all 11 Seminoles were fooled and the Buckeye receiver, Dwelly, was open in the end zone but just couldn't quite hang on to it. 
Florida State starting from the shadows of the goal line. Stockstill kept it for maybe a yard. Marcus Merrick was there. You know, a lot of people might question that call at that point in time, but the, the pass was open, and if the play touchdown is a great call, and, and when it goes bad, you know, people are going to probably talk about that play, but it was a touchdown pass, and, when it, and, and those kind of things happen. Bad break for Ohio State. Florida State has second down, and just under 10, as Stock still looks to throw up the left side. It is complete out near the 30-yard line to McKinnis. A fine catch by McKinnon. I'm telling you, Florida State can do no wrong today. Stock still faking middle of the line, passing to McKinnon, got behind the um, Buckeyes defenders that play. Looked like they went to sleep, thought it was going to be a running play. What a day for McKinnon. He caught three for 62 yards in the first half, as long as 41. And now the Seminoles are out of a deep hole. Florida State has it at the 28, first and 10. This is Rick Williams cracking over a left tackle out near the 35-yard line. Good blocking provided by Bob Merson, left guard for the Seminoles. Nick Miller made the tackle at the 35. Second and three. Three minutes, nine seconds left, third quarter. Florida State 30, Ohio State 21. Here's the handoff to Whiting. Inside handoff to Whiting. Not much yardage at the 35. Nick Miller was in the way of it. Miller, a senior from Upland, Pennsylvania. So it's third and three for Florida State at the 35-yard line. Split backs, receivers left and right. The Seminoles elect to throw. It's a pass out to Whiting in the right flat. He's got the first down across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Doug Hill made the tackle. But the Seminoles are doing an excellent job utilizing the backs. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Mike Whiting, the workhorse for the Seminoles today, uh, like we said earlier, he led the team in, in pass receptions last year with 25. And no doubt he's on his well on his way this year, probably leading Seminoles again in that category. He's got uh, well over 100 yards and pass receiving and rushing the football today. Pitch to Williams, circling the end, gets to the outside. He's at the Ohio State 40, inside the 30. He's caught from behind, near the 20. Kelvin Bell caught him. Good block thrown by Tony Johnson as we take a second look at it. Here you can see um, watch number 55, Jerome Foster. The guy just runs right by him. There's no way he could grab him. Uh, number Big number 44 for the Seminoles, Rick Williams, just bowling his way downfield before Kevin Bell can come up with the tackle. Williams had carried uh, twice in the first half for seven yards. But that was a big gainer. First and 10, Florida State at the 20. This is Whiting with room inside the 10 to the 5. Whiting down near the three-yard line. Sean Gale made the tackle. You can see Whiting, just a real quick handoff, right up the middle, the big pullback, 220 pounds, just bowled his way. Seeing that goal line, and I'm telling you, nothing stopping James Mike Whiting. You can see Whiting just bowling his way, getting by the Buckeye linebackers and everybody before Garcia Lane, the last man to make the tackle for the Buckeyes. I'm telling you, this Florida State offense is doing anything they want today. Here's a handoff to Whiting. He's stacked up at the line of scrimmage as the Buckeye charge towards the first running play from the three-yard line. We're under a minute now in the third quarter as the Buckeyes try to return the favor on defense. Florida State put up an excellent goal line stand earlier in the period and kept the Buckeyes out of the end zone. Now Ohio State tries to do the same. Second and goal at the three. 
Pitch back to Williams, cutting in. He's hit head on at the two and goes over. Ricky Williams behind Michael Whiting for the touchdown. And Florida State now leads 36 to 21. You can see uh, Williams, the junior tailback, finding his way, getting the pitch. Good block by Whiting. Missed tackles again by the, by the Bucks defense. Giving Williams, enable him to get those three yards going in for the score. 36 to 21. Florida State leads by 15. That, that Florida, Florida State drive took nine plays. Seminoles are trying to put it out of reach. A two-point play here would put them up by 17 points. Buckeyes would need at least three scores. Stock still throwing for McKinnon. It is too far incomplete. It may have been Williams in the corner of the end zone. It was. Stock still to Williams incomplete. Gale was covering. So with 32 seconds left in the third quarter, it's Florida State 36, Ohio State 21. Ohio State trying to turn the momentum its way. This is Spencer at the three. Looking for a few blocks. Gets out to the 18. And he runs into a wall at that point. And the Buckeyes will start first and 10 from their own 18-yard line. 27 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Larry Harris made the tackle for the Seminoles. Buckeye defense has uh, wilted in the second half this year. They've given up uh, 26 points in the last uh, two quarters in the six games. Schleister looking, still looking. Williams comes back for it, gets it. And he's across the 35, a flag is thrown, maybe a face mask on Florida State. Eric Riley made the tackle, but Williams came back for the football beautifully, juggled it, held on. A great reception by Gary Williams. Penalty against Florida State. You can see that again here. Sleesa going back, looking. Can't find anyone. All of a sudden, Gary Williams comes right in his eyesight. Juggles the ball, but he held, holds on. Try to get the outside, but a Florida State defender grabs on his face mask and drags him down. So the Buckeyes now set up shop at the Florida State 47-yard line. 16 seconds left, third quarter. Schleister being blitzed, dumps it out to Spencer behind the block inside the 40. Spencer out of bounds at the 38. Ken Rowe on the tackle. Rowe number 38. Tim Spencer, 46, taking the screen from Schleister. executed the screenplay very well as Schleister lobbed the pass over the oncoming uh, Florida State defenders morning. They sure did. The um, line did an excellent job. Lukens and Smith letting their men come in. A good pass by Art on that play. Spencer motion left. Schleister looks, throws. He's got Williams. Great catch inside the 30. Williams went high to pull it in. Rowe on the tackle again. is the end of the third quarter with the score florida state 36 ohio state 21 we'll be back with more buckeye football in cornelius green from ohio stadium in columbus fourth quarter action begins ohio state trailing florida state 36 to 21 buckeye football at the 28 of the seminoles schleister throws the ball down at the 36 or 7 yard line it's ruled incomplete as several Seminoles were in a hot pursuit of him. Art was scrambling for his life behind the line. James Gilbert was hounding him. Florida State coach is really upset because he thought Art Schleister grounded the ball intentionally that time. Football resting just inside the Florida State 28-yard line. You know, so Art, 
All right, Sleason's got a record also. He's 19 of 28 today for 315 yards. That's the OSU passing record. Williams has caught nine today, a career high for him. Schleister looking, flipping it out to the left. It's caught by Gale. Gale scrambles to near the 20. Scott McLean was out there for Florida State on the play. You can see um, Ohio State setting up that screen to the left side. You can see Gale getting through the crowd. Good catch. You see the Buckeyes made a good block. But a um, good defensive play by the Florida State guy that time. He got blocked and got back up and still made the tackle. Third and three. It's at the 20. Buckeyes up to the line. Anderson in motion. Hand off Gale. Gale is near first down yardage, short of the 15. Jimmy Gale running hard, picks up the first down. It's at the 16. Hester made the tackle for Florida State. 14 minutes left in the ball game. Florida State 36, Ohio State 21. Schleister. Looking, throwing, it is too low for Gale inside the 15. Uh, threw that away wisely into the turf, short of Gale. Ken Rowe was defending on the play. It's a good thing I did throw that ball away because um, they had lost 10 yards. Really would have put Ohio State's offense into a lot of trouble that time. This has been a very well-conceived drive by the Buckeyes. Williams has caught a couple of nice uh, passes for 20 and 11. Schleister looking, throwing. It is complete inside the five-yard line. Off the hands of Frank, into the hands of Anderson, and it's at the three. Larry Harris covered as we take a second look at it. Play action again. The Buckeyes are very lucky that time. Ball right off of Don Frank's hands. Ball right into the hands of Cedric Ced Ced Anderson. Buckeyes doing a good job up front. You can see Frank releasing off the line. Arts looking, fires, good pass. Out of the hands of Frank, Cedric Anderson, very alert. Play that's, on his part. That's where the old tip drill comes in handy. There's a pitch back. It goes awry at the 20-yard line. It is covered by Spencer of Ohio State. A big loss from the three back to the 18. A 15-yard loss on the play. Here's that option. They didn't even have any, any kind of correlation on that play. Tim Spencer was not in the same line of path with Art, Art Sleece at that time. That's why the pitch was way out ahead in front of Tim Spencer that time. Well, that was an ill-timed fumble for the Buckeyes. They're now faced with second and goal at the 18. When you come out on that option, you got to make sure when you pitch that the guy's going to be there. Formation. Schleister throwing. It is complete. Touchdown. Cedric Anderson caught it at the two and stepped into the end zone. Anderson beat Harvey Clayton. Let's take another look at it. Here it is. Our Schleister having a great day today. Fires a post pattern. Cedric Anderson. Touchdown. What else can you do? Good job up front. You can see Lucas and Smith doing a good job. Our fires the ball. Cedric Anderson. Great catch. Beat this man on a post pattern. The Buckeyes down by nine. They have to go for two to get within seven. Florida State 36, Ohio State 27. 12.45 left in the ball game. Buckeyes will come to the line of scrimmage with two tight ends in there, Dwelly and Frank. Fake to Spencer, Schleister looking, throwing, too high for Dwelly, off his fingertips, nine yards deep in the end zone, and he couldn't quite hang on. So with 12 minutes and 45 seconds left in the game, it's Florida State 36, Ohio State 27. So we pick up further action in the fourth quarter. First and 10, Ohio State at the Buckeye 36. Schleister firing. It is complete. Jemison at the Florida State 44-yard line. 2.36 left in the game. Ohio.
Ohio State down by nine. A touchdown and a field goal. Jemison, the sophomore from Princeton High School in Cincinnati. Schleister throwing short. It is complete to Spencer near the 40. Buckeyes had three wide receivers in on that play. Ken Rowe on the tackle. Clock stopped at 225. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a wide receivers for the Buckeyes. Schleister firing in a crowd intended for Williams inside the 30-yard line. Young defending. A Florida State lineman, Gilbert, down at the 45-yard line. The clock is not running. It shows 219 left. Gilbert with an ankle or knee injury. You know, the Buckeyes can get that ball in the end zone. They can come back with an onside kick and still get down there within a field goal range, hopefully, and still can pull this game out. It's, you know, it's still a long way from being over. Gilbert being helped off. This has been a very high scoring Florida State team over the last four years. It scored more than 30 points. Some 20 times dating back to 1977. Of course, they've got 36 on the scoreboard today. The Seminoles have won 44 their last 53. They've only dropped uh, one game in each of the last two regular seasons. Oklahoma has beaten them uh, twice the last two years in the Orange Bowl. Delone and the Buckeye line. Schleister intended for Williams, almost intercepted by James Harris. Fourth down coming up. This could be the Buckeyes' last gasp. Fourth down at the 41 of Florida State. The Buckeyes seem to be rushing it because they, they down uh, by nine points, but um, they can pull this game out. They'd be a little bit more patient. Williams split to the left. Anderson far to the left. Schleister throwing. It is caught near a first down. It may be shy of it. It's going to be close. Tim Spencer took the outlet pass at the 35. It is short of a first down by about a yard, and Florida State holds. So with two minutes and seven seconds left in the contest, it's Florida State 36, Ohio State 27. We'll be back with more Buckeye football in just a moment. Around Gary Williams, Harvey Clayton assisted. Clock stopped at 20 seconds remaining. Florida State, of course, with five defensive backs in. Schleister looks, swings it up the left side. It is complete to Anderson. He's out of bounds near the 40. 13 seconds to go. Bruce sending in what may be the last play. Schleister quickly sends it out to the left, incomplete. Looked like Jamison didn't get off the field in time, which makes Ohio State have 12 men on the field. Flag was thrown against the Buckeyes. now 
at the 39. Must somehow put nine points on the scoreboard in 10 seconds. An impossible trick. <laughs> Nearly. Some confusion now as the officials check with one of the Seminoles. Ohio State scored first in this game on a nine-yard touchdown run by Tim Spencer. Florida State uh, then came back to lead 10-7. to The Seminoles took the lead with 8.25 left in the second quarter at 23-21. Seminoles never trailed thereafter. Leister throwing up the near side. It is almost intercepted. Pass intended for Anderson. Five seconds to go. Line of scrimmage, the 34-yard line. Ohio State next week enters the heart of Big Ten action as they travel to Badger country to take on Wisconsin. We're going to have another tough task next week also facing those Badgers. Schleister for Williams. It's caught at the 45. He runs up to the 50-yard line as the game ends. So Florida State has upset Ohio State. Uh,